What's up everybody? Hey, you like crab? Do you like chowder? Then this is the video for you. You know what? Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we're making a crab chowder with me, A.B. Now, let's go over our ingredients. I'm using bumblebee white crab meat. Those are 12, you know, you wanna have a total of 12 ounces. You can do it with eight, but I like for mine to have, you know, when I, every spoonful I wanted to say crab. Then you got cream of celery, and then you got cream of potato. Two cans is two and a half ounces each. So, after that, then listen, now we're gonna go over our seasoning. You can use any seasoning you like. I like that Sweet Smoky Joe's, you know, which you can purchase at sweetsmokyjoes.com, that Creole Kick, that right there does it. But you can use Old Bay, you can use, you know, whatever your favorite, you know, uh, seafood seasoning is. You know, you got ground uh, black pepper, and then, you know, I'm using the store-bought evaporated milk. That's 12 ounces right there. And then right up there, you saw that arrow, that was for the bay leaf. Then we got one tablespoon of butter. And then eventually we wanna go ahead and melt that. Now, here's the key. Once you start adding your crab meat to the bowl, do not, and I repeat, do not drain. That's where your flavor's at. It's been sitting in that liquid right there and that right there. I promise you, when you open those cans, man, it just fills your whole place up, you know, and just says nothing but restaurant. Now I'm adding the uh, evaporated milk. And then listen, that's lump crab meat. This is totally optional. But if you guys been following my channel, you know I like to go above and beyond and I want every bite. Just because I got a, uh, you know, I got the, the smaller crab meat in there, I like to have some like, you know, some nice crab lumps. You know what I mean? Just to fill up my mouth and let me know that I'm having something and I made it and that right there is boss. And then go ahead and add your seasoning. Then you want to go ahead and, you know, just mix it all up. After you get everything mixed up, then we're going to set everything to the side. We're going to go ahead and get our crock pot and then we're going to go from there. And that right there, you just saw that I dropped in the, uh, the black pepper, which was a quarter teaspoon. That's up to you. That's up to taste. You know, a quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. Now, once you get your crock pot, I just laid it out so you can see. Go ahead and spray your crock pot. And if you guys have been watching me and following my uh, playlist for crock pot recipes, you know I use crock pot liners. So it's, I can't, you know what? I have no excuse why I don't have any crock pot liners right now. So go ahead. If you don't have any, go ahead and spray it. But I will pin the number one comment and leave a link right there for you guys to get them. They're very inexpensive. And uh, hey, listen, they're a must have. Makes your cleanup super easy. So go ahead and open up your cans, add everything inside here. And by the way, you saw me use, you know, do the crab meat and season that stuff separately. You can do it all inside of the uh, crock pot. If you know, you, if that's the way you like it, I just didn't have a bowl large enough to do everything in there. So I did it, you know, in two parts. Now, once you get, you know, all your, your soups in, go ahead, stir them up. Once you have everything mixed, go ahead and grab your crab mixture and go ahead and add that to your crock pot. And then what you want to do is you just want to stir that together. Then you want to add your bay leaf, put your lid on, and then it's time to set the timer. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can do it. You can do it low. You can do it low for four hours or you can do it high for two hours. This is a great meal for that last minute. You know, you, you don't know what you want to make. You can just go to your cupboard, grab these ingredients and just make this happen. Now, once your timer is complete and your food is ready, then it's time to go ahead and I was going to say plate, but same thing. You know what? It just sounds crazy if I say bowl, but then it's time to go ahead and just you know, get you a bowl and make it happen. So just go ahead, stir it up. You know what? And then you can add salt and pepper to it, you know, individually. This right here, I just want to let you know, you know, with the salted butter, everything just seems to be right for the palate. So go ahead, put it in a bowl. And what you see that green right there is parsley. That's something you guys should always keep around. You know, it's nothing like having fresh parsley. Cause you know what? I, I believe that uh, putting food out, it's almost like, you know, to me, it's like an art. So if it looks good, it's just edible art. You should always have parsley. And you know what? I use some uh, bacon also to garnish it. And there you have it. We got crab chowder. 
So I hope you guys like this video recipe. If you were looking for something to change up or something to add, you know, to your regular rotation of meals that you make during the week, then this is it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a pro tip. You know what? I serve mine with some sourdough that's been in a broiler so I can brown those edges and a lot of butter. Hey, so I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, what would you serve this with? If you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and just say, you know what? Welcome to my channel. You know, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and tell everybody there's a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out. Peace.